What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff, the series where I teach you how to make furniture using only chewing gum. Under this tabletop, nothing but chewing gum. It's surprisingly stable. But moving on, we just received the latest shipment of Eagle Moss Ghostbusters Ecto-1 parts. Yay! We didn't have to wait too long. Oh, so we are on issue number four. Now issue number four, much like number three, uh, covers four separate assemblies, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we will cover each of those on a weekly basis. Cause again, there's no point in rushing. This is gonna take a really long time anyway. So what's the point of rushing? But here is issue number four. So let's just flip through it real quick and show you what's in here. Obviously running down all the parts that you get, all that good stuff, all the instrucciones be instrucciones and all that good stuff we'll be doing over the next couple of weeks and we have any parts Janine Ghostbusters what do you want but uh yeah we have the story of how any parts came on to the series and all that good stuff some nice pictures do you have any hobbies uh, oh that's just that's precious look at that that's sweet look at that that's just precious <laughs> behind the scenes photos, all that good stuff from Ghostbusters 2. There you go. Optical illusions, apparently uh, covering the, uh, the special effects departments. Slimer, all that good stuff. There's the team. Stay puffed. Pops, zaps, and boops. <laughs> there you go, some quotes. Some quotes, you wanna read quotes? There you go, you can read some quotes. There are some quotes. More quotes. There you go. Things and stuff, stuff and things. And there you go. So, there you have that. And one extra little goodie that was in the box. I love this. They actually also sent a, uh, a full-sized metal Ecto-1 license plate. That's really cool. That's really cool. I like that. I like that very much. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. But, without further ado, let's get down to assembling. So, we are going to start off with number seven here. So, here are our parts. Let's slice this bad boy open. And let's get down to it! Because ain't nothing to it but to do it. Get this open. Get out our pizzas and the screws. Lots of screws here, lots of screws. That it, that it, that's it. Okay, put that up the side. Do that, come down here. And first let's get the, uh, our instrucciones open here. And we are here already. Let's get this popped open. I like that they're actually just bagging the parts now because it makes life a lot easier. All I have to do here is just pop the bubble, which is, okay. <laughs> it only makes life slightly easier because sometimes getting this bubble open is not the easiest thing in the world to do. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. Did everything stay in place? Everything stayed in place. Cool. 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 All right. So here we have our parts. Oh, now we can get down to the building. Hooray! Hooray for the building! So, what are we doing? What am I looking at? What is this thing? So what are we building? We are building here the middle engine block, which is the middle part of the engine block, I am assuming. All right, as good a place to start as any. So we got this piece right here, and then we have what? Looks like this piece? Yes. This piece right here. Looks like it goes over this piece right here. Correct? Seems like that's correct. Okay, so what are we using here? We are using, oh, we're using my favorite screws. Where are they? Where are they? No, where are they? Oh, here we go. We're using the M screws. That's right, them M screws. My own personal brand of screws. Cause remember, without M screws, you are screwed. That's right, that's right. That's also part of the, uh, it's also part of the uh, 
the slogan there. Without end screws, you are screwed. That's right. You have to say that's right. Otherwise, you're saying it wrong. You got to say that's right at the end. That's right. Then we'll just get this. See, I can't, I can't do it. This time I managed to actually do it. And we're going back into that accent. I don't know why. We're going back into that accent. We're going to stop it for now. <laughs> All right, so get these in place. Do things the proper way, which I am not doing. Oh, wait, this is like off. Oh, wait, this is like off center. How do you? Okay, seems like from the picture, it seems like it's supposed to go this way. It looks like, right? I think so. I think so. That's what it looks like. <laughs> there actually are like written instructions right here too, instead of, you know, along with the pictures, but you know, I ain't got time to read. I ain't got time to read. Nope, no time to read. No time to read at all. I ain't got time to read. Who's got time to read nowadays? Come on now. Who's got time to read? There we go. Just getting them set in place. So now we can do what? We screw! That's right, we screw. So we are starting our month's worth of screwing <laughs> with M screws, because without M screws, you are screwed. That's right. Again, that's exactly how the slogan goes. You have to say that's right at the end of it. Otherwise, you are saying it wrong. There we go. We got that piece in there. That looks like I have it oriented as it's supposed to be orientated. And uh, actually, you know what? Let me any wiggle room with this piece because it seems like this side is in a little higher uh tighten this a little too tight i don't know my own strength so i can push this down just a little bit more looks like a little bit more a little bit more straighter here we go a little bit more straighter okay seems like we got that right there we go we got that done right there what is the next piece we're going back into this accent that's just what we're doing i don't know you tell me and this part right here seems like this no is that this piece, I think, is metal. This piece, I believe, is just plastic. I can see what pieces are plastic and which pieces are metal. This is a That's a plastic piece right there, definitely. All right, so what are we doing here? So this piece is now going onto this piece right here. Okay, so everything lines up nicely. Okay. So now what are we using here? We are using, where are they? AP screws. Two AP screws. And we just need two of those. Uno, dos, not tres, just dos. There we go. Alrighty. Boop. There we go. You know, speaking of gum, <laughs> it's a weird segue. Speaking of gum, um, for anybody who lives in Philly, you, you know what I'm talking about, or for anybody who plans on visiting Philly, which obviously I don't know why you'd want to, really. There's really nothing here that's really worth anything. But <laughs> you come to Philly, it's like, oh, the Liberty Bell, hey, pretzels, hey, cheesesteaks, cool. That's pretty much it, I don't know. But, <laughs> but if you live in Philly, you know what I'm talking about. If you ever come to Philly, Speaking of gum, there is actually, if you go to South Street, there is a tree on South Street. I forget what block it is. I, I forget what the block. I haven't been down to South Street in, in quite a while, actually. But if you ever go down to South Street, there is a tree called the gum tree. And it's a tree that literally just has a ton of just little balls of chewing gum stuck to it. Like everybody just stuck their gum to it. And... <laughs> It's funny, it's just this multicolored tree of, of gum. It's just, it's hilarious. I feel bad for the tree, but at the same time, it's become like a landmark, you know? Um, okay, so we need the rest of the engine here. So yay, we're gonna be adding to the engine now. So here's the engine that we have finished in the previous build. So now what are we doing here? We are connecting this to this right here. All right, with a DM screw. So yeah, if you're ever in Philly and you go to South Street and you see the gum tree, feel free to contribute to it. Just a, a fun little fact. Actually, it's not. It's, it's gross, honestly. It's it's honestly a gross thing when you look at it and you see it. Like, oh, that's oh, so much saliva has been on that tree. Just so much 
that's just yeah but anyway, <laughs> it's a thing it's a thing here in philly but anyway so now that goes there like that and get that nice and snug like snug like a bug in a rug and there we go okay so now what are we doing now we're putting together something else entirely so what are we doing here we're building the now the top of the engine block that would be the top part of this that's plastic that's plastic right there and what is this this part right here this this thing i don't know car parts again i don't know car parts <laughs> What are we doing here? This, okay, this is the orientation and we're going like this. Okay. That, is that, is that as far down as it goes? That's as, that is as far down as it goes, okay. And that gets what, an AP screw? Another AP screw, yeah. Whoa, AP screws. Come here, AP screws, yeah. You know what's funny is, I think it was in the last video, I said I don't know anything about cars. And, and it's funny because a couple people were like, you don't know anything about cars, but you have a bunch of transformers that turn into cars. So that means I'm supposed to know everything about the inner workings of a car? No, that's stupid. Why would people say that? I don't get that. That's just kind of really... That was... That was... <laughs> I'm sure they thought they were being super clever, like, Arr! you know, like, no, you no, that was not clever at all. That makes no sense. Like, <laughs> the only, the only, the only way I even know what kind of car my Transformers turn into is if it says it on the box. Other than that, I know nothing. I know nothing. Like, I know it turns into a car, and that is the extent of my knowledge. That's as far as it goes. Just because I have a bunch of Transformers that turn into cars doesn't mean I now know about cars. That's just, no, it's, that, that's just kind of stupid logic. But hey, people grab at whatever straws they can. If it means I can take a cheap shot at you, but you know. All right, so what are we doing here? So now we're taking this little bit here and it goes on to this bit. Okay, it does have a little notch here, so it has a specific orientation. Oops, this is a small part. This is a small part. A small wiggly part. Okay, so this gets, what does this get? This also gets a BP screw. Here's our BPs. Our BPs. Get that little baggie open. Here we go. We just need one. Just one. There you go. BP screws, yeah. Whoa. All right. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, so that goes there like that. Okay, that's there. Cool! We are making progress! Progress we are making, yes! Okay, so now this is going on top of this. Like that, and this is getting what? Two more AP screws! This is the one where I just sing. I sing the name of the screws. I sing what I screw. <laughs> I sing what I screw. Don't you? Don't you sing while you screw? <laughs> and all these parts are plastic, by the way. Okay, so this just gets two AP screws. Oops. Work with me. Work with me. There we go. Let's get them started first before we tighten anything, just to make sure things are in their proper orientation. There we go. So this this particular build's a little more involved, it seems like. But that's okay. That's all right. That makes me happy. That fills me with glee. There we go. So we got that going. That's a bunch of engine stuff going on there. Cool! Cool! All right, so now that we've done that, we are now here at figure G. And it gets this bit right here. This is also plastic. 
So is there a specific way this goes? It goes like this. Okay, cool. So that, okay, so everything just lines up like that, and this gets what? AP screws, yeah! They get those AP screws. For AP screws, yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, there we go. <laughs> they, the screws fell out right to the melody. That's great. That's wonderful. I love it when a plan comes together. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing right there. That's a beautiful thing, and don't you ever, ever doubt it. Alrighty. Alrighty. Here we go. Oop. No, I don't need two. Just need one. Just one. Alrighty. This has been a pretty good video so far. We haven't talked about poop or bidets or anything. No, this, we just talked about a gum tree. The gum tree in, 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 in South Street, you know. That's all we've talked about. There we go. Now we'll get everything snugged up. Get things all snugged up. There we go. Get this snugged up. And snug. Get this snugged up. And snug. All right. So now we have a whole lot of that going on. Okay. That's a lot of engine stuff happening. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. This part, like I said, is pretty uh, is pretty involved. So what are we doing? What the heck are we? What is what is this? What is all this stuff? The breather cap. The breather cap. That's what we're putting together now. The breather cap. It involves this part and looks like this piece right here. The breather cap. It's a cap that breathes. Apparently, the engine needs to breathe, so it needs a breather cap. I guess, again, know nothing about engines, know nothing about car parts, I don't know. Apparently it needs a breather cap. All right, so this gets, uh, AP screws, yeah. Whoa. Two EP screws. All righty. Boom, and boom. No, I didn't need all of them. Just, just two, just two. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is going like this and then it gets its respective screws no i don't need both of them just one just one just one so that is going there and this goes face up like that okay and we'll just get this side started and then we'll put in the other side Okay, 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 okay. All right, now nah, we'll snug them up. Now nah, we'll get them all snugged up and snug. And now nah, we'll get this all snugged up and snug. There we go. So now we have a breather cap. Now the engine can breathe. Thank God. Thank God for that. So now what are we doing here? We are now attaching this to this part right here. So that is where that goes. Correct. Apparently that is where it goes. And then this gets an AP screw. Yeah. We're using a lot of these AP screws. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind the AP screws. I prefer the M screws, personally. Because, you know, they're my own personal brand of screws. Go to your local warehouse. Go to your local uh, home improvement warehouse and buy your own M screws. Because remember, without M screws, you are screwed. That's right. All right, so this gets a single AP screw. All right, so there. And oops, want to make sure that stays in its proper orientation. That'd be better if we. There we go. There we go. Just kind of brace it. There we go. And get that all nice and snug. Make sure that stays where it's supposed to stay. There we go. Right? Yep. And snug. There we go. All right, 
So now the engine can breathe. The engine can breathe. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I now have a breathable engine. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so now what are we doing? The oil, this is the, the oil, the oil, the oil sump, oil sump, oil sump. That's what it says here. It says oil sump, is that really sump, oil sump? I guess that's a word, okay. <laughs> I know oil pump, but an oil sump, I don't know. Okay, so this goes right here, like that. Oh, and this gets, you know what this gets? Yes, my own personal brand of screws. It gets two M screws. That's right. Go to your local retailer right now and get yourself some M screws. Because without M screws, your life is screwed. That's right. Because you don't get a proper screwing unless it's M. That's right. All right. So we need two of those. And we will now get this on here. Yeah, the oil, the oil sump. At least I'm learning what parts are called. <laughs> what they actually do, I have no idea, but I'm learning what they're called. I'll forget all this knowledge the second I'm done shooting this video, though. Keep in mind, keep in mind, I'm not gonna retain any of this knowledge. This is stuff, like, again, I don't own a car, I don't drive, so this is knowledge that I have no reason whatsoever to retain, and I won't. Like, the second I, I turn off this camera, I'm going to forget all the names of all of these parts. But you know what? At least for the time being, I'm learning what they're called. You know? Even temporary knowledge <laughs> is still knowledge. <laughs> so there you go. There's the oil sump attached to the engine and now we are going to put on the uh the top part the the, the engine block the engine block top is what this is called so this is going how this is going like this yes so that goes here like that aha anyway, okay cool Cool, all right, there we go. So what does this get? Does this get any screws? It's not telling me to put screws on it. This is just kind of like, this is this just kind of like clipped into place here. But they're not telling me to put any screws on it. So if they're not telling me to put screws on it, then I'm not gonna put screws in it. Okay, so that just gets it set up. Blah, 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 blah. This is where my tongue stops working. That gets it set. <laughs> this gets set off to the side. That's what I was trying to say until my brain completely shut down. Okay, so we have this piece here. This piece is metal. That's some metal right there. And we get this bit right here. And as always, make sure orientation is correct. And that goes like that. And Okay, so this gets two DM screws, yeah. Whoa. All right, two, there we go. Boop, boop. Alrighty. Ah, I'm enjoying this. Are you enjoying this? I'm enjoying this. This is fun. This is an enjoyable thing for me. This is an enjoyable thing for me. I like this. I can't wait, this is, the, 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 my tongue does not want to work today. <laughs> it's Monday, it's Monday for me. You're watching this, I'm uploading this on Wednesday. I'm recording this on Monday. So, it's Monday and my tongue doesn't want to work today. It's just, it's just I don't know. But anyway, what was I trying to say? I was trying to say that I'm enjoying this. I am enjoying this process. I'm enjoying this build. I cannot wait until this is all put together. And what's going to make this all the more satisfying when it's all said and done is I can say, I put this thing together myself. Every screw was screwed by me. I did all the screwing. I screwed this whole kit. I screwed all of this kit. Every last bit was screwed by me. I screwed it all. That is satisfying. <laughs> Take that however you will. And then we have this bit right here. And is that it? I think that's it for this. Yep. Yeah, so that is it for part seven. So that is all we have there. So this piece will just sit for now. This piece will just sit here for now. And we have managed to uh, put together some more of the uh, more of the engine there. So look at that, look at that. Ah, that's a thing. That's a thing right there. That's a thing that powers a car. 
gets the car moving and all that stuff. Alrighty, yay! So there we go, no more parts. I throw it off the side, and there you go, hooray! So we will continue on with the build next week. And I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff. And as always, if you would like to sign up for your own Ecto-1 kit, link in the description down below. And as always, links, stuff, Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And there you go. So this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Boom in your face.